Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and we're continuing where we left off with the My Little Pony Meat series. So a couple days ago, I believe it was the last time I made my last reaction video. The last My Little Pony Meets video we checked out was the Moon Moonanites Meets My Little Pony. Sorry, I almost forgot their names for a moment. But the Moonanites Meets My Little Pony was the last one we checked out. Uh, we also checked out a few others before then. We, uh, we checked out Elsa Meets My Little Pony, uh, Sophia the First Meets My Little Pony, and uh, I think there was one more before then as well. What, what else was there? I think there was one we checked out before Elsa. Oh, yeah, Homestar Runner meets My Little Pony. Yeah. So, I eventually have started to get back recently into getting into the My Little Pony meet series. Because for a little while, or pretty much for a while, pretty much ever since, like, I was doing college. And then for a while, I even started doing it once I graduated from college early this year in May. I was still, unfortunately, having a hard time trying to keep up with, like, doing these videos. Like, I don't know why that was. So, you know, when you thought that... Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people believed after when... I was graduating from college in May. People thought I was going to start being more active on YouTube and reacting more, but for some reason that didn't come to be, and I was resisting on videos for some reason, either because I was just tired or I was doing other stuff, or I just got kind of distracted. And, you know, most of the time I don't even do a lot now on days when I'm at home. All I just ever do is watch YouTube videos and play video games, and it gets boring really, really fast. And that really should have been the opening I should have done to make some more of these YouTube reaction videos, but I didn't. Until I came to the conclusion to realize that I was missing it and realized that it was keeping y'all waiting too long. So I finally got back to it when I officially returned with Homestar Runner Meets My Little Pony addressing the situation and saying that I was going to try to now be more active on YouTube, which I hope you guys are happy for now because... You know, I got quite a number of subscribers on my channel, and some of them kind of unsubscribed because I kind of kept them waiting for too long and all that stuff, which I apologize in advance, but you know what? Stuff happens, but you know what? With me only being 20 years old, I don't see why I don't have the time to be able to still be doing YouTube, even if I am working. Because, you know, even in the days when I am working, I can always still come home and still do them because I don't even work a lot. I only work, like, part-time. I only work from... I only work to, like, three to four hours because I'm autistic, as you know. I'm an, I'm an autism person. So, you know, I gotta, I'm gotta. slowly working more hours up because I can't just instantly start working more hours kind of like my dad does because then that's just going to cause me stress because I'm not really sure if I'm even ready to work that many hours yet. So I'm just slowly building it up. So uh, I went to work yesterday and I worked for three hours and I won't be back to work again until Thursday. So I got today and tomorrow off. And tomorrow is actually going to be a very good day because I'm actually going to be hanging with two friends of mine. Uh, Molly and Savannah, they're two very good friends of mine that I've been hanging with almost kind of for about close to a year now, I feel like. I'm not sure. But the three of us started a group chat on Snapchat. We talk a lot, and every once in a while we got to plan some group hangouts where we'd be hanging at Molly's house, just having fun, talking, and just making each other laugh and doing all that stuff. And now I'm going to get to go swimming with them tomorrow. Molly has a pool in her backyard, and I'm going to, you know, get to go swimming with Molly and Savannah. So Savannah's going to come pick me up, as she usually always does whenever we do this, and just won't even be that long of a drive. It's only like a 10 minute drive kind of to get to Waxahachie almost in a way. So just pick me up, get my swim gear and stuff ready, whatever I need to bring over there and just hope that I enjoy myself. Only thing I hope not to do is get a sunburn because obviously the sunburns are the worst. I felt them time and time again. I do not like them. I had really bad one on my shoulders when I was swimming with my best friend Alex who was also, <clears throat> well, ex excuse me, hold on, let me re-explain. But last time I got a sunburn, it was when I was Swimming with my best friend Alex and also my friends Andrea and Anna, who are also fellow cast members of the Real World Meet the Quester Girl series. Which, by the way, we still have not made an update video letting y'all know yet, but I did talk to Alex about the next time we hang out in person, we can make a official update video on my YouTube channel, uh, or both of my channels probably, letting people know about when the initial release date for the first episode of Real World Meet the Quester Girls will be. It's still work it's still in the works. Alex is almost finished with the animations, as least as I can tell you. The animations are nearly complete, so we almost have finished all the animations for the whole entire uh, episode. The only thing left we'll just need to do is get the voice work in from the people who are voicing the characters, and it should be complete by then, so hopefully it'll all be done by August the 30th and we'll release it. Just like we did with the trailer, it was already finished a couple weeks back, or even towards the end of, like, I think May or something, and, you know, we didn't release it till June the uh, 16th, I believe, is when it was My Little Pony Quest Girls 10th anniversary, but, you know, I forgot, but... Either way, it's great. So in case you guys are still wondering about that, don't worry. A YouTube video update, a future YouTube updating video letting you know about the initial release date for episode of Real World Meets Quest Girls will be on my channel. Probably both of my channels pretty soon if you haven't subscribed to my here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel right now, or if, if you haven't even subscribed to my second YouTube channel, Joe Flash 6.7 Lives. I suggest you go subscribe to my second channel, Joe Flash 6.7 Lives, because that is where the series will be posted on. So there's that. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. 
So I decided to, you know, come back to doing YouTubing video reaction videos once I started realizing just how boring it was and I needed something to do. So hopefully this means I'll be more active. I'm doing pretty good so far being more active. You know, I'm checking out more episodes than just slowly reacting like one at a time and then I wait till weeks later and stuff to do another react to the next episode or even a month, you know. So I don't want to keep y'all waiting for too long, you know. But anyway, so <clears throat> with that being said, I now shall explain what episode of the My Little Pony Meets series I'm about to check out. This is an interesting one because at first when I saw the title of this video, I literally forgot at first that 2 LDM even made this video. But then I remembered, oh yeah, you know what, he did release this at one point. But because I only saw the video's video once as at the time when I was becoming a fan of this series, I did not remember he made this. You know, pretty much I've seen a lot of the, um, back at the time when I was a fan of the My Little Pony Meat series when he was still currently active doing it, a uh, 2 candle DM. I just only had a select few videos that I remember because most of them I usually only reacted one time, but if they were like some of my all time personal favorites, they would be the ones that would stick out the most. Kind of like Spider Man, Superman, and all them. You know, those ones were particularly some of my all time favorites and they stuck out to me the most. But ones that, I, that weren't really my favorites were not ones that I usually remembered, and this video was no exception. So, anyway, this one, however, is none other than. Hang on, sorry. It's Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, and it's called The Cancelled Project, in case you're wondering what that says. So, Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, The Cancelled Project. So, Freddy Krueger has been chosen for the next episode, and apparently, it's a little interesting for the fact that he chose Freddy Krueger, because I never would have expected he would choose a horror character to do it, because, you know... And for me, personally, I'm not a horror fan. I don't really actually watch horror films, so I don't really know a lot about some of the slasher characters, you know, like... I mean, I've heard of them. I've definitely heard of them, and I know a little bit of information about them, like Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, a few of those, for example. But I don't watch horror movies, so I'm not a full... Oh, I'm not fully aware of knowing what the characters are capable of, you know what I'm saying? But I know a little bit about them, and, you know... For, if, if those of you that, that, and for those of you that remembered when I reacted to the Death Battle series, in case you guys are wondering if I still check out the series even when I decided to quit checking the series out after I reacted to the 100th episode of Death Battle, which was a rematch between Mario and Sonic, I still do. I'm still watching the series. I checked out one that was uploaded a few days ago or something. I checked out the recent one yesterday, which was uh, Phoenix vs. Raven. So I'm still reacting to the series. I'm just now only watching it as, not reacting, but I'm watching the series. I'm only just watching it as a viewer now, not as a reactor. I wanted to continue reacting. I really wanted to, but the the, the, the Death Battle series are starting to become more copyrighted and all not... All not I, sorry, I, I can't explain, right? But they're starting to get more copyrighted, and I couldn't take any more chances of trying to keep react, trying to attempt to react to a series or videos that were getting copyrighted, and I couldn't do whatever it took to try to attempt to make it not copyrighted. Because... This was also at the time when a lot of my videos were getting copyright claimed, and, you know, I made a, a rage rant about it last year, and it was pissing me off, and, you know, and all that, so I've now decided to become more cautious. Like, pretty much once after I got that second strike on this channel here, I set up a second YouTube channel to keep me alive in case if this one gets a third cha channel strike, and I started to become more cautious with my videos now, so I'm putting links in the description for the original videos and more like that, so I'm trying to be more cautious now, you know what I mean? So that just gave me the... That just made me make my decision that I should stop reacting to the Death Battle series. I never really officially explained it, I think. I don't know if I explained it in the, when I reacted to the 100th episode, which was my final Death Battle episode reaction, but never mind. But I still checked out some of the Death Battle episodes, even if I'm not reacting to them anymore. And they did do one episode last year for Halloween, which was Jason Voorhees vs. Michael Myers, which was actually a really good one. And, you know, I do eventually, like... Well, with characters I'm not familiar with, I don't check out their description, but characters I do at least know and heard of, I did do it with Jason and Michael, so, you know, I went through the powers, abilities, and all that, you know, because Wiz and Boomstick, you know, that's their job to analyze their weapons, armors, and skills, so I checked out what they were capable of, and, you know, I did predict that Jason was going to win, which he did defeat Michael, which was kind of an easy choice for me because I already kind of knew what they were capable of before they explained, but, you know, I know a little bit about the slashers is what I'm trying to say. Some of the slasher characters is what I'm trying to say. I don't know that much about Freddy Krueger compared to Jason and Michael, but still. I'm sorry if this is a long explanation, but I just needed to explain things. So, there you go. So, yeah, it was really a surprise at the time when he actually decided to make Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony 2K and LDM. It was definitely unexpected. However, what I was not also expecting was the fact that he, he put, parentheses, calling it the Cancel Project. 
So this kind of actually had me confused for a moment. Like, why is it called The Cancel Project? And that wasn't until recently, well, just a few minutes before I got into this video, I really wanted to figure it out before I got into this video. So until I really have always wondered why that was until now, just a few minutes before I got into this video, I checked out the description of the video that 2 k LDM put in the description for this video to figure out the reason why it was called The Cancel Project. So before we get into this video, let me go ahead and go into the description right now and I'll read it to you on what 2 k LDM said in the description. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had to fix my face cam because apparently I don't like that this... I don't like the new thing that goes on with this new recorder I got. Like, I started using this new recorder. Like, if you haven't seen my reaction to Homestar Runner meets My Little Pony, uh, you should go check it out because that was when I used this new recorder. I don't use the Momozam recorder anymore. I use a new recorder for various reasons. But like I said, if you want to know the reason why I use this new recorder, check out uh, Homestar Runner meets My Little Pony and I explain everything. But anyway, so here's the description for Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, The Cancel Project. And indeed, it said, read the description. So this is what 2 k LDM had to say in regards to when he uploaded this video back in October 7th, uh, 2016. This project was originally meant to be released on October 2014. While working on Rapunzel Meet My Little Pony, I thought it would be nice to do somewhat of a Halloween special for this series. Freddy Krueger would be the best choice for this since this is something I wanted to do for a while since I started this series. Me and... A friend of his named Hewi Toonmore. I can't pronounce that name, I'm sorry. But him and his fr a friend of his already wrote the, the script together. Most of the voice recordings were in. And I've got some of the backgrounds uh, completed for this project. Unfortunately, because of my schedule and putting more focus on Godzilla Meets My Little Pony, I had to put the project on hold. I wasn't sure if I was if I were to go back to the project, but it, I wasn't sure if I was... Sorry. <sighs> I'm kind of talking too fast, sorry. It's hard for me to read something like that very loud because I have to speak loudly to you all so you can hear me. I wasn't sure if I, were go if I were to go back to the project, but it wasn't until the episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Crusaders of the Lost Mark, of the actual MLP show was released last year that made me decide to cancel it all together. You can see why with the plot. So apparently he was originally going to upload this in 2014 in August, but put it on hold because of Godzilla Meets My Little Pony, and then when he was probably wasn't sure if he was going to, Crusaders of the Lost Mark canceled his opportunity to upload it. Which is understandable, because if you guys haven't checked out My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, the Crusaders of the Lost Mark was the infamous episode where the cru Cutie Mark Crusaders, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo would finally get their Cutie Marks. And obviously, based on him saying that in the description, you can obviously already tell that the Cutie Mark Crusaders, or one of them, is in this video. As you can see, according to the thumbnail, Apple Bloom is in this, so apparently it's confirmed that Apple Bloom is going to meet uh, Freddy Krueger. So, there's that. So, <clears throat> and apparently he also followed up by saying, I thought it would be ni a nice little Halloween treat. Like, I thought it would be a little nice... Dang it. I thought it would be a nice little Halloween treat this year to share you guys what the project could have been like by providing still images, music, and sound effects. Plus, I want to keep you guys busy as Sonic Meets My Little Pony is still in the works. My goal is to have that done for this year. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy my first official canceled My Little Pony Meets project. So apparently this also confirms that apparently in the next episode, it looks like we're going to see Sonic Meets My Little Pony. Sonic the Hedgehog. So I guess apparently now that I just read the description, I just got apparently, uh, apparently I just now got confirmed that apparently for the next episode after this video we're going to check out, Sonic will be next. But anyway, so yeah, that was apparently the reason why this is called The Cancel Project. Originally uploaded in 2014, but two years later, he decided to upload it the way it is. And because of the fact that he said he's still providing with images, music, and sound effects, I'm probably going to take a wild guess what he means by images is meaning that probably he didn't finish the project. Well, he got what he could, but it didn't get completed. So basically, if it says images, there's a good possibility this could be like a freeze frame or like a, or like a, a slide... Well, maybe not a slideshow, but maybe more like a storyboard. Because, you know, in storyboards, they don't provide the full information. You know, they would kind of just show image by image of what the plot of the story is going to be like. So because he said images, I'm going to take a wild guess to believe that, um... God dang it, my face cam turned back on off again. Sorry, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry, the face cam turned off again. That's the one thing I don't like about my new recorder is the fact that the face cam just automatically turns off by itself when I'm trying to switch it on over when I'm trying to put the video horizontally or vertically. That sucks. That My, my, my previous recorder, Mobazan, never used to give me that issue, so it sucks. But anyway, 
Um, so apparently that's the information regarding as to why this is called the Cancel Project and why this Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony meets video didn't get uploaded until 2016 when he was originally had it planned for 2014. So good explanation. So that confirms that obviously thanks to the information he provided that Apple Bloom will be in it as we saw the thumbnail while we were reading the description. Uh, one of the cutie marker stages is going to be in this video, and apparently <clears throat> this was the time when he made this, when he was making this project that this was before the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode of Crusaders of the Lost Mark where the cutie marker Crusaders, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scooter Lou got their cutie marks. Uh, they still didn't have them yet. They were blanks. Or as Diamond TR called them, blank flanks. I mean, that was just her being a bully, but you know. So this was before. So this video at this time was supposed to be meant to represent at the time when Apple Bloom still didn't have her cutie mark yet. Or any of the cutie marker saders. So, all right. And when he said by images, like I said, I think I'm willing to believe it's like a storyboard kind of. Because in storyboards, you know, the animations aren't really completed. They just provide how it's going to be by image to image kind of. So, I think this is probably what it's going to be like. So, it's not going to be a full animation of speaking or walking or whatever is happening with the characters. It's just going to provide what it is, you know. Just images like frame by frame or like image after image like in a slideshow kind of just showing on what it would have been if it would have been completed with animation. That's my theory on what this video is going to be like, because it kind of just sounds like it just after hear, reading the description. But anyway, there's not much else left to be said now. I've been speaking for way too long. I'm sorry that I kept y'all waiting for nearly 16 minutes and 30 seconds. We really should have started reacting to this video a long time ago. But I have enough. But I'm done talking now, explaining. I'm ready to go and get into this. I really should have already had started this video because it's not even a long video. It's only 6 minutes and 20 seconds, so I really should have started reacting to this video, but haven't yet. But I'm officially done speaking on what I need to be said now, so let's just go ahead and just check this out and finally get this wrapped up, shall we? And after reading the description, just one more thing, one more thing. And after reading the description, we just now found out that Sonic the Hedgehog will be meeting My Little Pony in the next episode. So Sonic meets My Little Pony will be confirmed as the next episode of My Little Pony Meet series that we will check out after we check out this episode of Freddy Krueger. So stay tuned for the next video, and we'll check out Sonic meets My Little Pony in the next one. But anyway, I don't know if I'll upload Sonic meets My Little Pony, my reaction to my Sonic meets My Little Pony today or tomorrow. We'll find out, but just stay tuned, period. But anyway... Right now, we have Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony to take care of. So let's go ahead and just get this out of the way. I'm done talking. Period. Okay? I'm done. So I'm sorry that I kept y'all waiting for so long. Now I'm definitely done. Let's just check this out, shall we? This should be a good one. I mean, I keep saying that about all the MLP meets videos, but they're really, really good. But anyway, let's, let's rock it. Like John Cena and Triple H, where we say, your time is up. My time is now. Sorry. God dang it. I've been speaking way too fast and so loud. My voice is starting to cut out. <clears throat> let's try it again. Like John Cena and Triple H, what we say, your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and just get into this, shall we? Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, The Cancel Project, in 5, 4, oh, God, sorry, I'm trying to grab the remote to turn my fan off, because you know how I always hate when the air conditioner and fan are always messing up the volume when I'm trying to hear these videos, so in case if it ends up affecting me when I'm trying to watch this video, I'm going to turn my fan off. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video, shall we? Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, The Cancel Project, in 5, 4, 3, 2, one, let's go. Jesus Christ. Should have not have been keeping y'all waiting that long. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, images. So, it's not a full animation, as you can see. Arthur reference. Screw this, turn this day hang on, I'll be right back. I gotta turn my air conditioner off, I'm still having a hard time hearing. Okay, I'm back, I'm sorry that you can't see me, but because the video is on a black screen, you can't see me for the moment, but anyway. <sighs> Screw this. So I turned my air conditioner off, I'm getting sick of the fact that I cannot hear anything. I tried to hope that the air conditioner would stay on this time, but even when I increased the volume, I still couldn't hear. I know you guys can hear just fine, but for some reason for me, I can't hear it. I tried, I tried, I tried, but I could not hear anything. I didn't even know what Apple Bloom said, so I'm going to restart this video. This is literally, this is actually frustrating me. I don't know why this keeps happening. I really don't want to actually have to be forced to turn my air conditioner and fan off when I'm doing these videos, but because they're so freaking loud for some reason in my room that they affect the volume when I'm trying to watch a video or react to one on YouTube, and I can't stand it. And then I'm forced to have to turn it off, and then I start sweating like crazy because it's hot outside because it's summertime still. I'm getting frustrated. I'm sorry. I, I need to calm down. It's so frustrating. Like, I'm sick of going through this. Just This just makes me want to just 
cut this part out that I'm talking to y'all about right now. I may just probably crop this off when I work at, when I edit this video on CapCut, or unless if you guys are just cool with me explaining everything, I'll just, you know what, screw it, I'll just leave it. I don't even want to do that, so, screw it. So, I'm now going to turn the fan off. I'm starting the video over so I can hear what the heck Apple Bloom was saying. Let's restart it. I'm not even going to do a countdown. Arthur, yeah, there's the Arthur reference. The heck? Oh. I did it! I finally got my cutie mark! I can't believe this is happening! Well, she's obviously I dreaming. We can all see that. Freddy. Freddy can be in your dreams, Apple Bloom. Oh, God. That's scary. Freddy's coming to get you, Apple Bloom. Oh, hey, sweetie Belle. Whoa, what the? Oh, Jesus. Now that is terrifying. Whoa. Oh, God, no. Freddy's just pulling all kinds of trick on Apple Bloom. Clever move there, Apple Bloom. What the? Jason? Is it boys? Hey, Hockey Pup, this is my Apple Bloom intro, not yours. So go make another sequel and get lost! <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> that was funny. And I find it kind of coincidental that it was Jason that appeared to- I'm sorry, I paused at a wrong time, but anyway. I find it coincidental it was Jason, because you know what? If you guys don't know when Freddy for- because Freddy did die in the slasher horror, because, you know, there's different horror characters, you know, kind of like the slashers, it kind of has its own, like, little MCU thing, kind of like what Marvel does. Uh, the Sega, you know, Freddy Krueger's last movie was Freddy meets- uh, Freddy versus Jason. That was actually Freddy Krueger's last film alive before he was- killed off for the rest of the slasher uh saga after in freddy versus jason he officially died there and which was also robert england the actor who played freddy krueger that was also his last time playing for playing freddy as well so yeah so that was where they officially killed off freddy krueger and where robert england's retirement as freddy krueger would come to be as well so yeah so that's very coincidental it was jason that appeared because jason was the one who was involved in well he didn't kill freddy but he was in the same movie as him, which would be Freddy's last movie is what I'm saying. So that was coincidental, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's continue. What is this place? Is that the place where, like, Freddy got... I don't watch the... I, I never seen Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare. I never seen the movie, so I don't know what this place is. Oh! <laughs> Throwing apples at him. <laughs> Nightmare movie or something. Wow. That was like a, was that the nightmare was that the uh, nightmare on Elm Street film they threw at him? She literally impaled him. Well, maybe you 
should start thinking once you're back into your place. Oh, he's gonna banish him to you know where. Yep, looks like so. Oh, wow. Dang, Luna. There's something I did for we didn't know she was capable of doing. Couldn't even believe she impaled him through the chest. That was insane. That was brutal. Thank you so much for saving me, Luna. But how did you know I was in trouble? It is my duty to keep an eye out on every pony's dreams in case something like this would happen. Huh. I always knew that beast would try to sneak his way into Ponyville someday. Well, at least he won't be a concern to me anymore. That's a relief. Now, this should be a part where I would teach you a lesson, but seeing as how there's nothing really needed to be learned here, I'll just give you a moral anyway. So, let me think. Um, don't sniff permanent markers. Goodbye. Don't sniff permanent mark. Never mind. Maybe don't eat permanent markers would have been more like it, but alright. still got some time left before I have to wake up, so what can I do until then? <gasps> I know! Well, 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 if it isn't a little late. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, Apple Bloomer. <laughs> she didn't even smile in her dream. Wow. Apple Bloom reversed. I mean, it's just a dream, so anything can happen, but wow. Apple Bloom reversed her dream with, with Diamond TR, reversing to where Diamond TR is now the blank flank and stole. Diamond Tiara's cutie mark. Wow. And now she's bullying Diamond Tiara. <laughs> wow. I mean, then again, maybe it doesn't have to go like that, but it kind of would be an understatement from a lot of fans that they say Diamond Tiara doesn't deserve karma and revenge like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but wait a minute. Can I go back for a moment? Did, did Apple Bloom also have her tiara on? Oh, no, she didn't. Okay. I thought she was wearing her tiara for a moment, but nah, she, she didn't steal her tiara. Anyways, though, <laughs> that was actually not too bad. That was actually okay. That was actually okay, honestly. That was actually a pretty interesting video. I mean, hey, that's Freddy Krueger for you. She can, he can do that stuff, but Luna came to the rescue. Wow. <laughs> but hey, you know, even though unfortunately they didn't complete with the animation, at least it still provided a good story because, you know, they still showed what it could have been so honestly i still enjoyed that regardless even if they didn't finish the complete animation and just showed images that still looked looked amazing so yeah i liked it that was actually pretty <laughs> funny interesting and pretty dark twisted should i say in a way since pretty Kruger is that kind of guy i really was not expecting the part where luna just comes out of nowhere and just impaled freddy through the chest man that was crazy but freddy Krueger got banished so Apple bloom was safe Anyway, let's look at the cast of characters, shall we? Ah, okay, so the guy that uh, Logan Miller, aka 2K and LDM, was working on, uh, two more that helped, worked on uh, Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, ended up actually providing the voice for Freddy Krueger. That's cool. Ah, and Pinky Rose was Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. All right. Nice. I did man I did talk about uh, Pinky Rose in my Elsa meets My Little Pony video when her OC pony character actually made a little cameo appearance in Elsa meets My Little Pony, and you know how I know a little bit about her, so that's pretty cool. All right, so, uh, and then Chan was Luna and Diamond Tiara, and then Logan Miller himself, Toucan LDM, was a secret character. Secret character. I definitely didn't see no secret... Oh, wait a minute, it's a character... Okay, there's something at the end of the video. I, I get it now, I get it. So, anytime, if you look at the end credits and you see uh, a cast saying secret character, you're asking, like, what? What is the secret character? I get it now. There's something at the end of the video, so there's a little extra scene that's going to be playing at the end of this video, so it's not over yet. I remember that, because I remember in the last videos that happened in the same manner as well, so looks like we'll get a, a secret character that's going to appear at the end of the video, so... So, let's keep watching. Uh, let's just go ahead and just keep letting the credits roll and wait till it gets to the scene where we see whoever this secret character is that's going to appear in the extra after credit scene. I get it now. Wow. I don't know why I didn't realize that before then, but at least I now get it now. At least you gotta give me that. At least I get it now. Special thanks to Wish Lotus. Alright, so let's see what the, uh, 
extra credit scene is. I'm just waiting to to get there before I turn the volume up because I don't want to get copyrighted if this music that's playing in the credits is copyrighted. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go back right here. <laughs> Chucky and Michael Myers? <laughs> wow. Okay, so Chucky and Michael Myers appear at the end of the video. And considering since how I just saw Chucky's mouth open, like, he was laughing, I'm guessing that means Logan Miller voiced Chucky, Chucky doll. Wow. So apparently, but he got banished with all the other slasher characters that got punished for their actions, so I guess you could say they're kind of technically in hell, pretty much. There is a there is a movie titled Jason Goes to Hell, which talked about that when they had Jason Voorhees do that. But anyway, let's just watch and see what this little extra scene is. Should be funny. I'm just. <laughs> you been killed by a sparkling pony? <laughs> and, and I'm a Michael being killed by a Mother Rises fan, but this this is just pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Cut his head off. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame Chucky in a way, because in some ways that is actually kind of hilarious, you know, especially to people who aren't a big MLP fan, they would probably find that hilarious, so. I don't blame Chucky for dying like that. <laughs> but he was dying, bro. He was just dying over that. And yep, he just gets his head cut off for his troubles. And Michael Myers just doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, wow. I want to I see it again, because I kind of blocked it a little bit where he cut his head off. So let me see that again. Let me go back. I want to see it again. Dang it. It won't let me go back. Hold on. Dang it. It's not. Hang on. Okay, right here will be fine. Look at this. Ha! <laughs> Yep, head clean off. <laughs> Shut up, Chucky. <laughs> I love how Freddy doesn't even show intimidation there. He's just he just obviously is just embarrassed about it and it just he just his facial expression doesn't even change when he just cuts off Chucky's head off. That's kinda funny. <laughs> like I said, I kinda don't blame Chucky, because that is kinda somewhat hilarious in a way if that he got killed by Luna or a pony out of all people, so <laughs> it is kinda somewhat funny in a way, I guess, but you know. Anyway, that was it. That was Freddy Krueger meets My Little Pony, ladies and gentlemen, the canceled project. So, hey, even if this project wasn't exactly completed because they didn't provide, excuse me, sorry, Bert, provide the animation for the video, it still turned out to be just as good as it did. So this really would have been exciting back then at the time being. It looks just as exciting as it does now. It would have been definitely much more better if it had animation. But, hey, I think I still appreciate for 2 and what he was able to provide for his canceled project. So... This was nice, even if I'm not a Slasher's horror fan, but you know what? <laughs> this was still pretty good. Very interesting, so thank you. Thank you, Tukin LDM. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this video. This was kind of a longer video than I wanted it to be because I kind of talked a lot at the beginning of the video before I got into it, and I kind of paused a couple times and all that, so this video kind of took a long, long time for me to finish. It was only a 6 minute and 28 second video, and I made it, and I made this reaction go up to 33 minutes. So yeah, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry. But I hope you guys still enjoyed the video regardless. I'm going to go ahead and get off of it so I can start editing this on CapCut and upload the video when it's finished. So yeah, I'm just going to get on out of here. And stay tuned for the next episode of the My Little Pony Meets episode, because in the next one, we will check out Sonic Meets My Little Pony. Now that we, because, you know, before we started the video, we read the description about why it was called the Cancel Project, Freddy Krueger Meets My Little Pony, and it confirmed that Sonic is the next one. So, looks like Sonic the Hedgehog will be the next character that will be meeting My Little Pony in the next episode. So, stay tuned for that video when it comes out, when I check out that video next, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow, but whenever I have the time to do it, just stay tuned. So... I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all next time in the next video. So that'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Dislike to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and gals out there, fist bumps good to all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kisses good to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.